So Neil, um, what do I say to the seller every week? The house hasn't sold and there's not a lot of showings. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got the multiple listing service. It's the most powerful tool on the planet in terms of communication with the client. All you need to do is every week figure out what houses sold in their marketplace, what was listed in their marketplace, what went pending, what closed, what had price reductions, and call and give it to them. Now, do you do it on the three blocks? No. You can do it on, on the, on the uh, coordinates, of the Thomas Guy coordinates, or you could do it on the whole city. But there's always activity in the marketplace. In the 22 cities that we cover in our company, every month we run these statistics and give these charts to our agents, but every month we're running between 16 and 1,800 um, houses sold in our MLS, in the cities we cover. Not we at Masters, I'm talking about in the multiple listing service. So um, that's 3,200 transaction possibilities. The business is out there. If you're not doing it, it doesn't mean it's not being done. Do you get what I'm saying? So if you've got a listing, be communicative with your clients. Let them know what's, what's happening. That way, when you do ask for a price reduction, they feel they've been communicated with, they know what's going on in the marketplace, you know what's going on in the marketplace, and we can have a, a good conversation. How about sending copies of the ads that you run on the property? We all know that the truth is that ads don't really sell houses. We get that. But the client still has an expectation of advertising, of having properties on the websites, etc. Now, you could have put their properties up on, and, and if you do it through Realtor.com, I don't know, 40, 50 different possible websites they stuff goes out to? Make copies of those. <clears throat> Go search it. Make a copy of that, and either, if they're tech savvy, send them the link, and if they're not tech savvy, copy it and mail them that it's on Trillia, that it's on um, YouTube, that it's on all these different services, but you're staying in contact with the client. And then you call the client and say, hey, just wanted to find out, did you, did you get the letter that I sent you with the information about where your properties are being marketed? Does this, guy's, this costs nothing? Does this make sense? Mm -hmm. And it's the extra mile. Because the average real estate agent is not doing that stuff. Okay, number five. Enough of that one, nobody wanted to go the extra mile, so. <laughs> How about being unstoppable? Right down, you need in this marketplace more than ever before. Look, I've been doing this 40 years. I've seen good markets, I've seen great markets, I've seen horrible markets, and then we have our market, okay? You better be unstoppable right now. You, if you're not unstoppable, do us all a favor and move to a different industry because you're screwing it up for the people who are really trying to get it done today. I wrote down here, we will be discouraged. That's what's going on in the marketplace. We will be discouraged. The question you have to ask is, how easy is it to stop you? Write that question down. How easy it is it to stop you? How stoppable are you? How hard are you to stop? You know, it's one thing to get going. It's another thing, if you're, if you're easy to stop, and you know, you, you sat an open house, um, and I don't know, three people showed up and nothing happened. You know, so, oh boy, I wasted my Sunday, this was horrible. Okay, or you went out door knocking today, which happens, and you, you, hit, a, you hit 100 doors, and 30 people were at home, um, and you didn't get a lead, and you didn't get an appointment. It happens. It happens to the best of them. There will be days we will be discouraged, okay? 
I mean, I wrote down here, we could prospect for three hours a day for two weeks and not get a listing. We could present three offers and not get one through. We could be showing property to four different buyers this last month and not one of them decided to buy. We can get discouraged. I wrote down here, did you work out for an hour and expect to lose one pound? Isn't that... We do, though, don't we? <laughs> I did. I was on the treadmill for 45 minutes today, and then I immediately jumped off of there and got on the scale. Shit! <laughs> Wasn't there. So the real question is, what do you do about it? We're going to get discouraged. We are going to have moments where we're going to be a little discouraged. So I, I wrote, so write, these, uh, write this down. When that happens, when you get discouraged, and you will get discouraged, write this down. Say, it will happen, so what? It will happen, so what? We are going to get discouraged. So what? What are our options? What are our options? I did some research the other day and what jobs were available. <laughs> and, you know, I did. I did. I said, okay, okay. Let's see what jobs are really available out there. Well, there's actually a decent amount of jobs. If you've got a couple of years experience in that field. And you can make 12 to $18 an hour after you have a couple of years experience in that field. It can be done. Or you could do some of these activities that we've got lined out in real estate and make eight, nine, ten, twelve, fifteen thousand dollars a paycheck and there's no reason you can't make one or two of those a month. You know in our company right now we have 79 agents who are on track to earn more money than they did last year. Either have earned more money or on track to earn more money. 21 of those have earned in excess of $150,000 already this year, up to $700,000 this year. 21 of them with zero REO business. Zero. You don't have to have an REO account to do business. You don't have to have an REO account to have listings. You don't have to have REO business in this market. There are people making quite a few hundreds of thousands of dollars a year with no REO business. It can be done and you can do it. Nothing special about these people. They practice, they drill, they rehearse rehearse what they're supposed to say, when they're supposed to say it, and they have the discipline and they follow a system. Is everyone perfect? No. It's a very wide street that we travel. Paul Meyer said, 90% of those who fail are not actually defeated. They simply quit. You quit before the business is there. You prospected for three or four hours. I hear this all the time, even in our company, and we're pretty focused on this. Neil, I did exactly what you said to do. Great. Yeah, and I did this, and I did this. I, everything is checked off. Fantastic. How long did you do it for? Four days. And I got nothing. <laughs> I says, okay, go back and do it for another 40 days, and then call me. Because that's what it takes in this business, in this world today. That's what's going on. I wrote down, how well you follow through with your plan determines your success. Write down attitude. Attitude. Write down the word attitude. So here's a question. How do you feel right now about where you are in your life? How do you feel? I'm not going to make you write it down so somebody can copy it on the paper, okay? But my guess is, my guess is that most 
of us in this room don't feel great about where we are financially, physically, emotionally in this business. That there's some things that we could change, that we want to change, that we need to change. I mean, my God, you know, I need to lose 20 pounds and I didn't do it by eating one big taco, okay? This is not one big taco, ladies and gentlemen. This was many little tacos, all right? It takes a decision to change. I wrote down here, if you don't like the life you have right now, you can change it. You have the choice, you have the ability. A good attitude may, may not be everything, a good attitude may not be the only thing, yet it's a great start. Charles Swindoll, this is a two paragraphs I love to read. In fact, this is something personally I probably read on a weekly basis. Uh, it's certainly posted all kinds of places around for me to do that. Words can never adequately convey the incredible impact of our...